Hey, Pom Pom Gay, welcome back to another Pom Pom Sisters YouTube video. We are still in the middle of a handyman clearance takeover. Well, I won't say we're in the middle. This is the last video of our six part, eight part series of me renovating the kitchen slash dining room. So in this video, we will be tackling the dining room. I will be painting, adding new lighting, as well as adding that trim to the lower half of the wall, which is called board and batten or wainscoting. I'm not qu quite sure what's the difference between the two but I will be showing you how I renovated my dining room in two days in under $200 dollars to do this entire makeover just for the dining room the kitchen is a whole nother story so stay tuned let's get started so I'm hoping to finish this in a day I am now going to start our dining room renovation this is the wood that I purchased from my local hardware store mine's is Lowe's right around the corner I purchased uh, furring strips I believe that's what it's called I'll leave, leave the link down below for you guys so you can click on it and try to find out um, what exactly is but it's very inexpensive I'm trying to do like a board and batten wainscoting um, on the bottom half of my dining room wall and then the top half we will be painting so this is the color that is pretty much the primary color throughout my house is called stilly gray it's a Sherwin Williams color and then the board and batten will be the pure white which is the same color that uh, kitchen cabinets are so we're pretty much taking those same themed colors that are pretty much in the kitchen and we're moving those into the dining room i had to purchase um some more caulking because i was i was out after i finished doing the cabinets i also purchased some liquid nails to help hold down my nails or hold down my boards to the wood and I also purchased some paint brushes of course because we're doing a bunch of trim work we will need lots of paint brushes to try to do this yes yeah, so I purchased all this it came up to like hundred and fifty dollars now I will also be using my nail gun to attach these boards and trims to my wall as well as using the liquid nails we're going to start on that today i think it's about 11 o'clock i'm gonna try to attempt this project without the help of christian and then hold on i want to go into the dining room so y'all can see exactly what i did okay i'll get her all right so this is the dining room here's the kitchen I'm staying from the kitchen so y'all can kind of see the point of view that I have right now. There we go. So there's the dining room, dining room table. As you can see, it is a nice and open now. We have the fridge over here to the left. Those are the cabinets that I just did as well as over here. Those are complete and we're just waiting to do the bottom cabinets. As you can see, the, the, it did not take long for us to break in the breakfast bar. It is definitely being used. We have junk everywhere, but of course I'll clean it up and make it Instagram worthy once I am done doing all my work in here. So as you can see, all of my blue tape that I taped around, that's pretty much the level height that I want the board and batten or the wings go in to reach. So I measured 48 inches. So everything below the blue tape that is 48 inches from the floor. So, um, yeah, this will be pretty much the pure white will be down here as well as, well as all the trim. And then up top i will have the silly gray as our color in here and it's pretty much the same color on this wall we will now be taking it out through this wall so my plan is to take i purchased one by four one by two and one by three wood the one by four wood is going to go across here um horizontally and then the vertical lines that will be going down will be my one by threes and then i purchased one by two because the wood is kind of going to poke out a little bit from the baseboard and i do not want to go go throughout this whole damn room trying to pull up baseboards like that's just not not the vibe so um instead of doing that i'm going to keep the same old um 
baseboard, of course, we'll paint it and, you know, make it look nice and pretty with the rest of the trim wall that I'm about to install. So I purchased a one by two to install it right above the baseboard so that the trim goes flush with the one by two and then it just kind of looks like a decorative baseboard down there. Hopefully by five o'clock, I am done. The girls are currently eating breakfast and doing homeschooling. Say hi. So, um, she'll pretty much be in here hearing all of my noise and while I'm still helping her do her homework. So, multitasking mom right now. Let's go ahead and get to work. I'm done talking. We will go into further details later. If you have any more questions, of course, comment below. Let me know what y'all think, what y'all, you know, how far. I, get. I just, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm sorry. All right, I'm gonna go. Bye. I will begin installing my furring strips to the bottom half of the wall. I started from the very bottom putting that one by two board right over the baseboard. And like I said before, that's just to make sure that those horizontal boards will be nice and flush to the trim at the bottom because I didn't want to replace the baseboards. And then at the top, I am installing the one by four furring strips as the top part of the trim. And then the one by threes will be going uh, vertical down the wall and I decided to space mines out 16 inches apart and I just used some liquid nail and my nail gun and got this job done so that's pretty much how I got it done oh y'all my back is hurting so bad because <laughs> most of this required nothing but floor work so I am hurting, but this is almost done because I'm not done. <laughs> so I at least have the wood done on three out of the four walls. This wall right here, I miscalculated on my bottom strip that I need that goes across the baseboard. So I will have to order or uh, head to Lowe's and pick up one more uh, rod. I'm Pretty sure I actually have it here at the house. I probably have some scrap wood here at the house that I could probably just make a quick um, one by two board real quick and put it down there so I can be done. But I am too tired to pull out my table saw or anything like that. So I would just go ahead. Oh, it's only like five o'clock. Sorry, the sun is so blinding during this time of the day because the sun comes right through that window. So. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, caulk the rest of, or I'm just, I'm gonna caulk. I haven't caulked anything, um, to seal all of our, you know, gaps and stuff like this between here. We want to seal that and make it look all nice and flawless as well as across here because we don't want that to be seen either. And you know, other places. Well, that, that will actually be wood filled, not caulked. So. It looks good. Like. I'll show y'all a full view. Stand up close on it, you can't really see. But it looks really good, all the wood looks good. I like the framing so far. Can't, I can't wait to paint. I cannot wait to paint, so. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'll let you guys go now. So I went ahead and uh, caulked all of my seams as well as wood fill any gaps or any knots that I had in my wood. Fern strips are not the perfect, 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 like straight wood. So they do come with knots and dits and dings and stuff. So just make sure you are going to go in there and fix all that. Took a small break because my back is killing me, but... I am finished with the top half of painting. This paint oxidizes so much. It's just crazy how much darker it dries. Um, so yeah, it looks like I may have missed, you know, but no, it's just it's just wet and it's taking its sweet time drying. So I'm probably give it another hour, 30 minutes um, to dry. I'm then gonna go in and start sanding down lightly. So um, as you can see, these spots right here, this is where I applied my um, wood fill. So there was like a couple of holes and stuff in the wood because the wood is not perfect at all. It's not clean, nice wood. It's two by four and two by four, or not two by four, but it's plywood. And sometimes plywood comes with lots of notches and 
these little knots which i don't mind but if you want something that's like very clean and sleek i do not recommend using the plywood as your wood um so it's over here by the window so of course i had to add some shorter beams here under the window i'm sorry the light the sun shines right through this window so it's kind of messing up my focus but um right here on the edge i did a 45 degree angle cut and uh, the reason why I did that is because I want to kind of look flushed with the window. As you can see, it doesn't like poke out like crazy. I'm sorry, give me a minute. It doesn't poke out like crazy. And then I just added some caulking to go across it to kind of seal it. Um, so that was pretty much how I did that. And I also did the same thing over here on this wall where it's going to end. I did a um, 45 degree angle cut here as well and that needs to be sanded down. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on sanding and painting and we will be completely done. We'll just be waiting for the paint to dry. I'll hang myself back up and we'll be done. All right, y'all, I just, I gotta sit down. My back is killing me, uh, but I finished. <laughs> About killed myself doing it, but I finished and it looks so freaking good. I'm sitting at the dining room table and I also installed my new light fixture. It doesn't have light bulbs in it because it didn't come with light bulbs. So I have to run to the store tomorrow to go purchase some so I can light it up and see how gorgeous it looks in here took me two days and I damn near killed myself trying to do it but it looks so good the the border looks great like it looks so good I love it good morning all you cool cats and kittens <laughs> I haven't been wanting to say that for a while, sorry. So here we are, all complete. Now I went ahead and hung everything. My new dining room light now has light bulbs and it is so illuminated in here, I love it. So this is the view standing from the kitchen. This is the view standing from the dining room. Ooh, I would pay no attention to my breakfast bar area. I was working this morning. That's kind of where I set up now because I just love it in here. This is it. The dining room is now complete. So I just want to go over some of the decor and the small changes that I made to kind of just bring this room to life. So I ordered a rug that I absolutely love off of Wayfair. That was another $80. And then the lighting, I did not count into my budget either. That was also another like $100. I also added these curtains because that lighting was driving me insane. And that was an extra $20. I love the curtains. They allow some of the light so it kind of filters the sunlight through the room so it's not completely dark in there and it's also not blinding you with sunlight. Of course my centerpiece I had to add my florals and my lemons because yellow is my accent color for both the dining room and the kitchen. I know I'm just so dramatic and I purchased all of those from a uh, home goods it was kind of between home goods and kirkland's i can't quite remember i think the florals might have came from michael's but either way all that summed up to be like another 50 dollars. i know my husband is so glad that i am done with this project because i am finally done spending all of our extra money but i am glad that i now have a completed kitchen and dining room Thank you everyone who have been uh, watching all of my episodes of my Handyman Clearance Takeover. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. Thank you guys and uh, thank you for joining me on this long journey of renovating my kitchen and dining room. We will see y'all on another video.